well, saving the frothiest for last office <laughs> sector, um, as we all know, continues to experience some pretty unprecedented disruption, and one that I believe is truly unique compared to previous market cycles, even though we always say that every time. There's a down cycle, we go, we've never seen anything like this before, but this time, I think it's really true. Um, the calling card of this cycle is the technology-driven cultural shift in the ways in which people come together to interact and to work. And um, it's a change that was obviously rapidly accelerated by a pandemic. Um, the hoped for immediate spring, spring back to traditional office use did not occur. And it still remains frustratingly as a landlord with a lot of office protracted. Um, my crystal ball for recovery and exactly what that recovery will look like at the end of the day remains a little bit cloudy. Um, and I think that the sector is still figuring itself out. Um, however, um, for those of us that have been around for a while, we also know that disruption yields great opportunities. And so I also think that right now is one of the most fascinating times to be in our business. And so um, for people who like to solve problems, there's a lot to work on and, and spend a lot of time on. Um, Successfully navigating the office market right now as a broker is something that requires patience, grit, and I think above all creativity, and maybe a little touch of crazy. Um, as a recovering broker, I am pleased to be able to announce the finalists for this category, um, and these individuals, um, whom I all know and really uh, like very well, um, truly deserve the rec recognition. And they are... Mr. Mike Dash, CBRE, Lita Harvey, JLL, Mr. Richie Curtis, JLL. <laughs>